Hey guys, it's Special Z here, and welcome to episode 8 of my Athletic Bilbao series, Football Manager 2019. So, this episode comes not long after the previous episode, where we versed Sevilla in a league match. Um, we are coming in for today's game against Chelsea, and this is the second leg of the second knockout round for the Europa League. And, uh, yeah, as you can see from the league table, I'll go into it here. Um, we've only played... Four fixtures? Three fixtures? I think it's three. We only played the three fixtures, but unfortunately we've dropped down to fifth place. Uh, Sevilla are ahead of us on goal difference at the moment, and we're both tied on 49 points. Um, and then you have Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid, who are both four points ahead of us. So, the form, I mean, it's dropped off a little bit. Of course, we only drew in the last episode, if you haven't watched it. Sorry for the spoiler. Uh, but let's have a look at the fixtures here. Of course, the previous episode, that one old draw there. Uh, we followed that up with a really disappointing 2-0 loss to Leganes. And that was at home as well, uh, to make it all the worse. Yeah, I mean, I, I just don't know what to say here. We just really didn't play very well. Unfortunately, I had to play Brace as the right back. Of course, more naturally a left back. Um, but yeah, we just lost. We... Just just didn't play anywhere near what we're capable of, and yeah, we got punished for it, definitely. Uh, the next game was against Huesca. We managed to beat them 3-2 away from home. Um, but as you can see by the goal times there, this game was very, very nerve-wracking. We opened the scoring through Nolascoin, and then they got a goal, or they got the equaliser in the 81st minute. Uh, sorry, no, they didn't. We actually went... <laughs> My apologies. We actually went 2-0 up through Veska uh, before they got their first goal in the 81st minute. Almost a straight reply to our second goal, them getting on the score sheet. They then got the equaliser in the 86th minute. And of course, by then I was kind of thinking, okay, well, another draw to a very... No disrespect, but a, a very poor team in the league. And, you know, our form has definitely dropped off going into the Chelsea game. But yeah, in the 93rd minute, who else but the youngster, Catalan, getting the winning goal there. And, uh, yeah, I was super happy. Let's actually have a look at his goal. I th from, from memory, I think it was pretty good. Actually, it might not have been that good, but I think I just... I, I, I'm, I kind of went a little bit crazy, I think, for it um, at the time. As you can see, Cecita puts in a ball. Oh uh, yeah, it wasn't that good. But yeah, when we scored it, did a bit of a fist pump. And uh, yeah, I was definitely pretty happy with myself. Uh, yeah, and then the next game was the Chelsea first leg. And as you can see, we won 2-1. Very impressive result. Um, going into it, of course, our form hadn't been that good. I wasn't expecting the win. And we did manage to pull it off. And I was pretty happy. Um, overall, with the performance, I think we did... We didn't have too many shots, but I think all of our shots were on target. Um, I can show you the match stats, but Isa Villalibre opened the scoring. Giroud got one back, and then Harvey Martinez getting us the winning goal there at home. And we'll just have a look at the stats here. As you can see, uh, it was 4-3. and three. So, I mean, to be honest, we probably got really lucky in this game. As you can see, Chelsea had 15 shots, 7 on target. We only had 4 shots, 3 on target. Had more possession, of course, as we usually do. Uh, but yeah, I think I guess we're pretty lucky there. I guess we're pretty lucky. Um, unfortunately, we followed this game up with a 2-0 loss to Real Betis. And yeah, our league form, not the greatest. We got a draw and 2 losses with 1 win in there as well in our last 4 league games. So... Yeah, the two losses are definitely, you know, that's potentially a missed eight points that we've missed out on, which is obviously affecting our league position because we've dropped out of the top four. Uh, but yeah, we are focusing on the Europa League today. Let's get into the lineup and we'll get cracking. It's going to be a bit of a shorter episode today, of course, not as many fixtures or anything else to really get through there. Um, but first, before I go through the lineup, I'll show you the injuries and suspensions we currently have. 
as you can see, I'm not sure how many players that is. What's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine players out. And if you look through who they are, they're all pretty much first teamers, more or less, except for maybe Garcia and Hervias, I guess. Lekue, arguably a first team player. So yeah, um, that's uh, that's great. Um, so we've had to call up one player. We've caught up Sunset from the B team, a very very strong prospect in central midfield. Um, he was it was between Sunset and uh, what's his name, Nalaskoyan, Nalaskoyan. Uh, I have absolutely no idea. I've looked at the uh, the translation for it and tried to listen out for. Spanish pronunciation of it, but it's just in the last coin to me. I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm gonna stick with that in the last coin. Uh yeah, so Sensei will come up. Um he'll probably stay in the squad I guess for now. Uh only nineteen years old. Definitely a, a pretty good prospect there. Um so yeah, today's lineup, Ramiro will be in goals, gonna go with Kappa at right back as always. Uh unfortunately we have to play Garmendia. Um he's a very good prospect, but his low heading and low positioning really worries me, especially against a team like Chelsea. He could be really put under a lot of pressure today. Uh, his partner, as always, Martinez, who, despite having a pretty poor season last year, has really become somewhat of a rock, especially with the absence of San Jose. He's also come up with quite a few goals as well this season. Uh, then we have Ganea at left back, Nolas Coen at defensive mid with Vesca and Martinez who of course has come back from his injury. He's playing pretty well um, since his return. He's only I've only used him in bits and pieces and of course with the two suspensions today to Etaraspe and Benat, he's going to, to get a nice little starting opportunity and hopefully he can perform for us. Uh, then we're going to go with Sasita and Munayin as always on the wings and Villa Libre up front. The bench will, will consist of Fernandez. Arberas, Brace, Sunset, Cordoba, and Catalan. Unfortunately, I don't really want to put Marino on the bench. Um, I did try and sell him in January, uh, but nobody wants him because he's pretty bad. Yeah. So we're going to go with that team and that, that bench as well. Of course, got to give Sunset his squad number, number 35 apparently. Make of that what you will. Um, they're only going to go with three at the back, which is interesting. Okay, okay. Very, looks very, very defensive. Um, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but uh, we're going to say I expect a win, and that hasn't gone down too well with Villa Libre. All right. And yeah, guys, I just want to thank you all for all the support on these videos. Uh, obviously, coming back to YouTube, it's it's uh, always hard to to struggle in the first sort of few videos. Um, but yeah, I think the series is well on its way now. Really enjoying Football Manager this year. Uh, well, this on this game, I guess. I, I have played and enjoyed Football Manager the last few years. Martinez, oh, just misses there. Yeah, I'm just really enjoying it, especially, you know, the YouTube recording aspect of it again. As we put in a poor corner, can he put in a better delivery this time? No, he can't. It's cleared out. And that was only one minute into the game. My god. Suzo with a free kick. Jorginho will get onto it. Goes back to Suso. And Kappa will clear. Not looking great. I mean, maybe we can get the ball away now, Sasita goes inside, and I don't know what type of pass that was, but he gave the ball straight away, and G Jorginho takes a pretty lame effort at the goalkeeper there. They do have a corner, it's cleared away, and it goes out for a throw-in. Jeez, that's only four minutes in, and that was a lot of action so far. Of course, we are 2-1 up at the moment. Chelsea did get the away goal, which is a little bit worrying, of course. Um, in, in order for us to go through, we kind of need to at least score today. In order to, to potentially draw that 2-1 reverse result. Um, but I'm, I, To be honest, I'll take a nil-all draw. And as I say that, they're probably going to score. Yes, they are. 
Isn't that just typical? How many times has that happened over my YouTube career? I've literally been talking about something, about them not scoring perhaps, and they've gone on to score in the same highlight. Ganea, I think he hit the crossbar then, I'm not too sure, but... This is what I was talking about. So now we're behind because they have that away goal. And we're not really looking like we're doing too much either. Uh, just had our first shot on target there, unfortunately. Seriously? A handball? Oh my goodness. Okay, well that's really put a, a big dagger through the heart, I guess. I don't... I don't think I've ever seen a a handball penalty before. Is that a... I don't know. I can't ever recall seeing one. I'm going to go aggressive at him. And just tell him to... Hopefully that will fire him up a, a little bit at least. Well, we'll leave the shouts for now. Of course, if we get the one goal, we could take it to extra time. Come on, Ganea. Oh, he almost gets it. Damn it, that was really close. Alright. Seceda's on a 6.1 at the moment, but I don't have any right wingers. Um, what can we do here? Sunset. For Martinez. Um, Cordoba for Seceda, and then we'll play Munain on the right as a winger. I guess we'll go with that, to be honest. Not the uh, the greatest in the world. Just trying to encourage the boys. We've got a highlight here. Hopefully it's for us. Kappa, Lollis Coin. Uh, he's just dribbling backwards and giving the ball away. Of course he is. What an absolute joke. What an absolute joke. You've got to be kidding me. All right. Cap is on a six match rating as well. Our team's is literally just falling apart at the seams. One of our strongest player, one of our strongest players, has just got probably his worst rating I think he's ever had. Him and Sasita are just six. That's that's low. When you see a six, you know your team's going to lose basically. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I probably shouldn't have shown this game because we've just gotten destroyed here today. Um, definitely the first live com where I've just definitely been outplayed. I def I, well, we obviously were, were very lucky in that first game, getting the win over them at home. 3 0 loss. Um, yeah, definitely not happy. And our league form is, is starting to fall off as well. At least now we're out of all competitions except for the league, so we can focus on that completely. As you can see, I mean, there's still a lot of strong teams in here, but we could have drawn someone a little bit more favourable compared to Chelsea. I mean, the only other teams that you would want to avoid are probably Napoli, Milan, and Atletico. I think all the rest are kind of beatable. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap this episode up, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Of course, we're out of the Europa League. Um, but to be honest, I never really expected to, to get over Chelsea here. Um, just kind of wanted to give you guys a potential live com that you could enjoy, and maybe some of you did. You enjoyed it at my my despair, my misery from that first or from that second leg. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.